Welcome to the video course assuring accessibility of the digital material of VideoTeach project. In this video, we will have a look at how to make sure that the digital content you are making is accessible. Creating accessible video material is essential to ensure that all learners, including those with disabilities, can fully engage with educational content. Everyone has a right to access digital content. Accessibility should not only be understood as a technical requirement, as it also includes the intelligible aspect of the content. Technically accessible content can fail to get the message across, which makes it less accessible. Within the European Union, accessibility of digital content is dictated by law. Directive, EU, 2016-2102 sets out guidelines for making digital content accessible. After watching this video, you'll be able to make accessible videos to use in teaching. Presenting teaching material in video format can be a great way to boost accessibility, since visual information can be more understandable to some students. With that being said, it's good to keep in mind that to meet the accessibility criteria, all the information presented in a video should also be made available in written format, so that people with vision or hearing disabilities can also perceive the information via screen reading device for example. A way to do this is to provide a transcript, which should contain all spoken dialogue, including descriptions of important visual elements, on-screen text, and nonverbal sounds. Transcripts can be presented as separate text documents or integrated captions within the video player. Include captions and subtitles in your videos to make them accessible to learners with hearing impairments and to make them more understandable. Captions display the spoken dialogue, sound effects, and other relevant audio elements on screen. Subtitles provide a translated version of the dialogue in different languages. Use accurate timing and synchronize captions and subtitles with the corresponding audio to ensure an optimal viewing experience. Another aspect of digital accessibility is the use of fonts. You should choose fonts that are clear, legible, and easily readable. Avoid using decorative or complex fonts that may pose difficulties for individuals with visual impairments or reading disabilities. Good options are for instance sans serif fonts, such as Arial or Verdana, as they tend to be more accessible. Use font sizes that are easily readable by ensuring sufficient color contrast between the text and the background to improve visibility. For example, the white font used in this slide's title has a high contrast with the background red, making the font choice accessible. The text in the red box next to it does not have sufficient color contrast, making it hard to read. Audio descriptions can be added to make visual elements accessible to individuals with visual impairments. They are additional audio tracks that provide narrated descriptions of important visual details, actions, and contextual information. These descriptions fill the gaps for learners who cannot see the on-screen content, enhancing their understanding and engagement with the video. Although videos are a great way to enliven teaching, providing alternative formats ensures that learners have options for accessing the content based on their specific requirements. Offer alternative formats for video content, such as downloadable video files, transcripts and audio descriptions in accessible formats. This allows learners to access the material in their preferred way, accommodating different needs and preferences. Creating accessible video material is essential to provide an inclusive learning experience for all students. By providing accurate and comprehensive transcripts, implementing captions and subtitles, using clear and readable fonts, providing audio descriptions and offering alternative formats, Teachers can create video content that is accessible to all learners, promoting equal opportunities for education while at it. You can test the accessibility of your videos by viewing them via assistive technology a student might be using. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.